<laughs> I'm being my bag by the bar. Hi. Hi, everybody. I just want to tell y'all, it'd be some fine men in the gym on Saturdays. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all have been enjoying these weekly vlogs. I feel like I have been doing a good job at being consistent. But anyway, today is Sunday and I'm about to do a space reset. As y'all can see, it's a lot going on back there. Like, no, I need to put I need to put all of those clothes away and just like clean up and refresh my space. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do while I wait for the Love is Blind reunion to come on. So I'm just about to straighten up. I'll be watching that and then I'm going to set my intentions for the week. Um, really excited to do that. Something I'm just going to start this week that I'm going to set my intentions for the week. Nothing like too crazy, but you know what I intend to do for the week. So yeah, that's really it. I also just ordered... A decent amount of clothes I just feel like I don't well one I feel like I want a whole new wardrobe and I know I can't like make that happen overnight um but I also feel like I just I need spring stuff I need summer stuff so I ordered a few things I even honestly kind of felt like when I was ordering that like I wasn't too crazy over this stuff so I kind of just got I feel like some Stuff I felt like was my style, but I'm also like trying to revamp my style. So I don't know if I was necessarily in love with the stuff that I got, but I needed some stuff. So, okay, a little update. I went to the gym, felt phenomenal as always. And yeah, I think this is my first Saturday going to the gym. Um, I've been doing like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. But today I did Saturday because did I go yesterday? I don't know. I might have went to gym five days this week. Did I go five days? Whatever. It was good. And let me tell y'all something. Okay, this is my first Saturday at the gym. But the men, the men at the gym on a Saturday, fine okay with some fine men in the gym but the thing is y'all they be in the basketball court and at my gym the basketball court is like in a room but like it's separate you know what I mean like you walk past it and you see them but like they be you know they be doing their thing in the gym so like what if my husband is in there and he's not gonna see me I mean he won't find me I just want to tell y'all it'd be some fine men in the gym on Saturdays but anyway, I am getting ready, not really for the birthday dinner right now, but my friend hit me up and she wants to go get some food. I'm trying to figure out if I really actually have time to go get food with her because it's like, I think it's two. She's an hour away, so she's probably not going to get to me until like three something. And I have to leave my house by like 6.30. I just feel like that's gonna be a lot but I'm getting ready in case at least doing my hair I figure out what I'm wearing to the birthday dinner I have to do my edges and stuff and probably just lay my hair down until I figure out what I'm about to do all right y'all I'm ready I just throw on a graphic tee I have one of my favorite jeans from Target my Steve Madden sandals sunglasses are from Target as well and then I'm just gonna bring my Louis pouch so this is what it's giving. My room is a mess. Honestly, I feel like I am doing a lot right now because <laughs> me and my friend that I'm about to go grab late lunch with, which I'm probably not going to get a lot because I'm literally going to dinner in a few hours, but I feel like I'm testing it <laughs> because it's like, what time is it? It's 3.11. Oh, this is probably her. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm coming. All right.
You guys see me early in the vlog i went to breakfast with kiana she has a youtube channel i'm a tag it put it somewhere but yeah, it was such a good day we went to breakfast and then and then we co-worked at her place and time was just moving next thing we knew it was four o'clock six o'clock yeah but it was a really productive day like it was good good vibes good combo good work i love when you can just be around somebody and you don't have to be talking the whole time like you can go in and out of conversation and just like do your thing and be working so yeah we're gonna do that like a little more often um but yeah i'm just getting home about to straighten up probably light a candle relax all the things i got a package it's kind of big not really big but kind of big um i really needed like some spring summer clothes honestly i didn't get that much stuff like i know it looks kind of big but it's not that much stuff just got a few things from sheen that's how you say it i think it's called sheen or sheen i don't i don't know they did a post pronouncing it too and i can't remember what it was but i kind of want to open it and look at some of this stuff and i kind of don't feel like it but i kind of do want to yeah i don't know let me know if y'all want to see a few of the items i don't know if people still do like haul videos and all that but yeah so I think I'm about to just like reset my room a little bit because I did not make my bed this morning and that is unlike me. I like to make my bed every morning. So I kind of just want to like reset my room, light a candle, make it a little vibe. Um, and then I'll probably do some reading before bed. So yeah, it was a good day. Done. This is a very lazy bed make by the way because it's nighttime and I'm about to get in it. So we doing it real lazy, okay? Okay, y'all. I decided to open it. Look at this. It's really not that much stuff. I promise. But oh. it's gonna drop. Let me tell you guys how I opened up my Sheen package. Tried everything on. If you guys want to see, I will try it on again. But I literally loved everything. I thought everything was super cute. Um, and that's like the first time I've ever been super satisfied, I feel like, with an online clothing order. Um, like I said, I don't really order from there a whole lot, but, like, that was only my second time, um, ordering from them. Or I'm lying. My third. My third time ordering from them. Um, and I really loved everything that I got. I got really, like, kind of... I feel like a few statement pieces because my birthday's coming up and I'm traveling to Florida. I also have my best friend's bachelorette party in June. Um, and we're going to D.C. So, like, you know, I want to, like, some cute giving stuff.
stuff. Oh, today was just a really good day. Like, I really, really, really enjoyed co-working with Kiana. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I've learned the past few years that, like, community is so important. And I know you guys didn't get to see a lot of the behind the scenes, but, like, being around like-minded people, people who work in the same, like, spaces as you, was just really, um... It just was really good, you know what I mean? And I love that. I love that for me. I love that for her. Able to connect. And I thank God for the spirit of discernment because I didn't um, catch this in my part of the vlog, but Kiana has it on her channel, or will have it on her channel at some point. She was expressing like the way that we met. And so she lives in Philly. She's a Philly influencer, but she's from New York. And I don't know how I came across her. I don't know if I found her on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I don't know, but I found her. And she started posting, um, I think I, sh did I show you guys in the vlog, the sweatshirt that I have that says, God, I thank you for everything. Um, yeah. Anyway, she, oh, I pulled my nose ring out. Oh my gosh, like the second time I did that. Oh, I just heard it fall. <gasps> anyway, she was posting on her Instagram literally every day. She would post like, I think like nature or whatever the case and the caption would just be, God, I thank you for everything. And I think I've talked to you guys about this. Did I? I don't know, I'd be forgetting what I say in the vlogs. But at a time where like my anxiety was just really, really high Seeing that on her story every day, God, I thank you for everything, was something that I started verbally saying out loud. And it was literally helping me to, like, let the anxiousness fade away, to, like, shift my focus from what I feel like my current circumstances are to literally just praising and thanking God for everything. Because regardless of what's going on in my life, my ability to say thank you, Jesus, and lift my hands and give honor, praise, and glory to him supersedes all of that so her posting that every day on her story was just really blessing me and I felt the nudge to tell her that and I don't be in nobody's DMs like that like at all I usually message people or feel led to do that um and not that it's like a bad thing but like I don't know when you have discernment a lot of the times you see people who aren't pure people who are like faking it or whatever so to have discernment to know like no this girl like she seems there's just this genuineness about her like this sweetness of our spirits that i think that we both have that i was really drawn to so anyway dm'd her I can't remember everything that i said i believe i sent her a voice note and i just was telling her how you know it's really been blessing me like that you um have been posting this in your stories every day and it's really helping me um, and so, you know, she sent me a waste note bag, blah, 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 and we exchanged numbers, which is something we both don't do. It's actually really funny. She was, like, telling in her vlog earlier, like, people get the Google voice number. You don't get my real number. <laughs> um, but I don't blame her for that, but we exchanged numbers, and I think we chopped it up a few times, and then... And then she reached out to me, let me know she was praying for me about a few things. And it was so on point with what I needed prayer about. Like, it was just mind blown. Like, I was tearing up in the Trader Joe's parking lot. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and then she invited me to her church for their women's ministry. And that was super fun. Everyone was super nice, warm, welcoming, and inviting. Um, so, yeah. And then this is our second time hanging out. We co-worked. And went to we went to breakfast and then we co-worked. Um, but yeah, I just say all that to say I'm thankful for new connections, relationships, and like ordained types of things. So yeah, well, if you need community, pray for it. Um, because God will definitely honor that prayer and provide you with that. So yeah, really productive. We had a great time. And I can't wait to do it again. But yeah, I'm doing my nighttime skincare something something. I'm about to just use a few products. I feel like a little update on these dark spots, chow. Um, as you can see, this came today, literally, I think, from me 
I know, actually, I feel like, for me consuming dairy. Um, I had dairy in my coffee today. But that's because we were at the restaurant and they didn't have... Well, I didn't ask, but I didn't see it out. They, I didn't see like an oat milk or almond milk creamer for my coffee. So I just used what was there and I had eggs, <laughs> um, which I feel like eggs made me break out like a few weeks ago. But um, yeah, the ones on my forehead, I feel like these are, doesn't look like it, but I feel like they're starting to fade. What really gives me hope and encouragement is that I had like some right here and they're fading. So I'm hoping the rest of them can catch up to what happened over here. Kiana were actually talking about that too. Like she's experiencing some of the same things and she like cut meat out of her diet completely. And she says that, you know, she feels like she sees a difference. So I don't know if I'm, well, no, I think she did say she eats seafood. Um, but eventually I think she wants to cut it completely. I just don't know if I'm like there yet. Like breakfast, I need turkey bacon. Like I need a meat in the morning, you know what I mean? Not every day, but I need it and, or I want it. And chicken, I feel like chicken can go. Like I've been so over chicken. I feel like I've been consuming so much chicken and I'm like turned off by it. Um... Yeah, certain stuff I'd be like, dang, I want that. You know what I mean? But if it's going to be affecting my face like this consistently. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Good afternoon. Dang, it's 3 o'clock already. Wow, where has the day? So, little update on my day is clearly 3 o'clock. I woke up late this morning. I don't like waking up past like 9 o'clock. And I ain't get out the bed, I think, until like 10 today. So that's that. So that like threw me off because I really wanted to go to the gym this morning and get that out of the way and then, you know, go into the rest of my day. But whatever. So anyway, let me tell y'all how. I haven't really been active on I haven't really been active on social media, but um today I wanted to post. And so I posted a little reel, but it was just me talking and sharing um kind of like some revelation that I've had through my time with spending time with God and reading the word because I started reading the Bible from the beginning and basically I was just sharing like my revelation on how the enemy has been a deceiver from the beginning of time it's the first strategy the first attack that worked on God's people it worked on Eve and she said literally the serpent deceived me and so I was sharing that um, on Instagram in a reel um, just my thoughts and stuff like that and I got this one comment and it just literally brought me to tears because I don't know like first of all what she said she was talking about how like she sees a million Bible speaking or Bible study post every day um, but it was something about my post that encouraged her to get back into the word um, and she was like you know keep going you got one today Ah, I feel like I always be crying on here. Dang. But y'all, that really like moved me because one, it's like glory to God. Like, glory to God. Like, for someone, you know, wanting to get in their word because of the Holy Spirit utilizing me to finally open my mouth today. Because if I can be honest, y'all, like, few weeks ago like I have been working through comparison and that's why I got off of the internet um I was just tired tired of seeing people opening up their mouths I was honestly tired of healing hearing all the people preaching like it just be a lot sometimes and to be honest with y'all on TikTok I'd be scrolling I'd be scrolling past a bunch of people who'd be talking and I kind of was doing a lot of comparison and I was like I don't know because I've been sharing my life and my faith for so long like almost 10 years now um, going through a period of time where it felt like I didn't have anything to say was really uncomfortable for me and I've been trying to figure out like okay what the heck is this because like it just makes me because I operate off of purpose and purpose for me is sharing it's opening my mouth it's my words it's my writing not being able to do that made me feel like I was losing or like I lost it and so for today to be a day that I decided to open my mouth and post and for someone to say that that made them want to pursue Jesus is like, 
<laughs> like what keep what do you say to that i actually did a class on comparison last week i had to do one ironically and um i remember one of the things that i said was like the purpose is to serve you know and um I think that that's something I'm reminding myself of is I'm not popping up on social media to be something that I'm not. My point and my purpose is to serve and I need to do that and focus on what my purpose is, which is to serve, not to compare, but to serve in the capacity that God has called me to do that. So, yeah, that that got me today. I'm not even going to hold y'all. That really, really got me. Um, may God be glorified forever and always forever and always so i may make like a dedicated video on like deception because i feel like it's been just such a huge attack i know on myself it's been a huge attack so i can imagine um how many people maybe can relate to that so yeah that's that um i am now just doing some work on my computer i need to make it to the gym at some point it's three i'm probably not gonna go to the gym till like seven to be honest uh, all right y'all i'm checking in I'm about to go to the gym i didn't make it to the gym yesterday which was monday but today is tuesday still the same day from the earlier clip um so yeah and i woke up late this morning and didn't get to go so i'm not throwing the whole gym day away just because i didn't make it this morning we still have to go i wanted to wait to go a little later it's like seven i think not even sure um but yeah we're going to the gym i feel like i have unlocked a new um phase of discipline or i am currently unlocking a new phase of discipline and i really enjoy the way that i feel when i leave the gym so this is week four we have officially entered week four of gym life um i'm not looking at the scale right now i am trying to pay attention to the way my body looks but honestly i'm not I feel like week eight, when that'll be like two months in the gym, that's when I'll be like, all right, I hope I don't see some changes, you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, for now, not really stressing over the changes. And I'm just thankful that we're going into week four and I haven't had any flare ups in my body. Like that is a huge blessing um, to me. So yeah, I'm going to the gym. So today is Wednesday. I had per call this morning. I told y'all to do a Wednesday prayer call every Wednesday kind of informal chit chat interview this morning with my old job I told y'all that my contract was up but there is a potential role coming up um and my old manager recommended me for it and I just thought that was really sweet like whether I get it or not I thought that was really, really nice and sweet of him. So I had that this morning. That was a really good chit chat telling me about the role and things like that. So that was good. I think that went really well. And I feel like it's also something that I would really enjoy. Um, it's kind of like on the marketing side of like emails, push notifications for their app, um, like basically pushing people to interact with their platform and I was like well this is up my alley as well I have my own app I send push notifications every day I use I have an email list so like you know I'm familiar with walking people through um like an email or um creating notifications and like driving engagement and all that so that went pretty cool today is Wednesday I have my best friends um like wedding food tasting today which i'm really excited about um what else yeah and i'm just gonna try and get some work done i want to create a little bit of content so i'm about to try to figure that out um yeah but first like i had obviously i had prayer this morning but i didn't like i don't know have my full blown session meditating so yeah i think i'm about to do like um a meditation and probably journaling and that's going to be that y'all I have been doing I want to tell y'all more about the meditations that I have been doing but I kind of want to wait so I don't know <laughs> but they have really been helping me oh my gosh like it's a part of my daily routine now to incorporate um like Christian meditation into my day um, and I'm kind of like really interested in it like it's really been helping me and it makes me want to like 
do it like host my own like christian meditation type vibe because i feel like i don't see a lot of people in that space like when you see meditation like i know for me i used to get thrown off by it because oftentimes it's like rooted in yoga and i feel like you just don't see a lot of christians or at least maybe i don't see a lot of christians in that space because a lot of times it's like rooted in yoga and it's like oh this is good like breath work but then we find that some of the things they're doing are rooted in other um you know religious beliefs or spirits and it's like okay but i can't do that but it's but i do want to practice mindfulness and breath work so yeah i've been incorporating like christian meditations and i'm like i want to do this this is like blessing me and helping me and calming my little nervous system down and I kind of want to get into that space and I feel like honestly I could because it goes with like my app um her oasis which is a mental emotional spiritual oasis her oasis has not even I feel like touched the surface of everything that it's going to be but ultimately it's a well of wellness and I want to incorporate um physical wellness inside of that as well so yeah i feel like there's a lot there's a lot that i am looking to do but i really have been enjoying meditating so i'm gonna do that and probably just have like some prayer and worship time and then i'm gonna do some work okay y'all so what have i did i did my meditation i post it on instagram which is a win for me um i'm about to make my bed because i didn't make my bed this morning i've been like slacking a little bit but making my bed like directly in the morning um and i like to make my bed every morning so i'm about to make my bed and what else am i doing check a few emails all that my phone's going off um okay yeah also need to like clean my room in general and I need to clean my office and I need to clean my bathroom I usually clean on Sundays but I'm about to change my cleaning days to Fridays because I find that like I want my space clean for the weekend although I'm usually throwing clothes all over the place if I'm trying to find something to wear but yeah I think I'm gonna change my cleaning days to Fridays but I might just What's today? Wednesday? I don't know. I might clean today or tomorrow because I need to clean up. <laughs> Y'all, look at my hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas because I feel like they last long, but I had them in my office and it was really cold one night and they died. They were like in really good condition and then I'm out of breath. <sighs> Ooh, child. They were in really good condition and then the next morning they were dead and I guess they can't be like in cold climates because yeah they withered up. Uh, Just the people's it was. But I guess yeah. it's phone number two six seven. Tasted that sausage and pepper puff. Them. I liked it. Oh, this sausage. You said this, right? Yeah. <laughs> you trying to help Auntie? I mean, I like tomato garlic. <laughs> Yeah. Really? What else happened? <laughs> this is the chicken um, cardinal, almond crusted chicken, chicken cordon bleu, chicken rollatini. It's, it's my favorite one. one. It's yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I can just drink that sauce. It's so good. <laughs> it's so I'm like very good. Seriously. Thank you about that. <laughs> my apple juice friend. I'm trying to unbig bit. I'm big. I can't talk big. You spelled the food got you. I'm trying to unbig back. Unbig my back. Unbig my back by the bar. My forehead is mad shiny. That's ginger bread? That's the last two days. Okay. Um, and the last thing is just your dessert, so you don't have to pick anything. That's how you just get to enjoy. Okay. And I'll tell you what everything is when they come out. Okay, so it's included. Mm -hmm. It can be served. Say hi. Served? Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. I gotta work that Thursday. Hi. Was it the Thursday before? Yeah. Or it can't be. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Rehearsal. 
yeah she's hey y'all so i wanted to hop on and end the vlog really quick because i'm about to start a new vlog so you're going to see me pop up like this in the next vlog but i think the last clip was me being at my best friend's wedding tasting y'all it was so much food i'm so glad that i went hungry because it was so much food like so much food <laughs> um but it was really good it was really fun and you know just cool to be able to witness that part of um i guess you know like the planning and all that the wedding is in august bachelorette is in june bridal shower is in july so it's about to be a very full next couple of months my birthday is literally next week that's may 5th um my sister's birthday is may 1st my mom's birthday is may 10th i'm going to florida to see my mom for her birthday and mother's day so y'all we about to have the content okay so because i definitely want to vlog like all of the stuff that i have coming up but i'm going through a little tunnel sorry y'all um so yeah it's a lot of good stuff coming up but thanks for watching the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one